What is going on gamers and welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be ranking all the weapons from Chapter 5 Season 4 from worst to best. There are currently 14 weapons that you are able to pick up in Fortnite right now and I am categorizing these as items that do damage to other players. I will also be combining the mythic and the regular versions into one weapon. For example, I will only be ranking the Monarch Pistol as one weapon, even though there's technically two versions, which is the regular and the Doctor Doom Mythic one. As a disclosure, this is just my personal opinion and preferences. If you guys agree or disagree, make sure to comment something down below, as I would love to hear your rankings as well. I'll be ranking these weapons on generally what I pick up and use throughout most of my matches uh, versus the weapons I don't really carry at all. And if you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future content. If this video gets more than 50 likes, I'll be doing a V-Bucks giveaway for you guys. Most likely on one of my live streams, but stay tuned for that. Also, don't forget to use code CHUPSGAMING in the Fortnite item shop if you're picking up any cosmetics or skins so that you can support the channel. And without further ado, let's get right into it. Alrighty guys, coming in at number 14, we have the Hyper SMG. This is a returning weapon that was introduced in Chapter 5 Season 1 and is definitely not a bad SMG. However, I really only use it when I get it off spawn. I have not once carried this weapon into endgame or used it for more than my first landing area, which is going to put it at the bottom of the list for me. Next at number 13, we have the Monarch Pistol. This might be a little controversial to put it this low on my list, but let me explain. I don't think this is a bad weapon at all, but I've only used it a few times a season and similar to the Hyper SMG, I only use it off spawn if it's the only weapon I find. Even if I see the Doctor Doom Mythic version, I still would just rather carry an AR as I think any AR this season would be better at close and mid-range fights. It does do a lot of headshot damage when you ADS, but I would still rather use an AR over this weapon, which is why it's going to be number 13. Speaking of Doctor Doom, we have at number 12 the Doctor Doom Arcane Gauntlets. I just generally think this is a pretty bad weapon. I'm not going to pick this weapon up over any AR or spray weapon this season. The drop off when firing is a lot, but it does do a lot of damage to structures. However, it's probably the weakest mythic in my opinion. At number 11, we have the Hammer Pump Shotgun. As someone who mostly plays zero builds, this is the weakest shotgun out of all the ones available this season. It has the potential to do a lot of headshot damage and is very similar to the pump, which makes it really good for build players. However, in zero builds, the faster fire rate of the Gatekeeper and the Sovereign Shotgun make them better weapons for my playstyle. I will use a shotgun if it's the only one I find off spawn. Swooping in at number 10, we have the Combat AR, which is a returning weapon from last season. This is my favorite AR from Season 3, but it's gone to my least favorite out of all the ones in Season 4. I will use this weapon off spawn, but ones that are mostly given don't have any scopes and the recoil on them are crazy. I would much rather pick up a Striker AR because the recoil is less and the Burst AR because it will most likely already have a scope on it with little to no recoil. Number 9 is the Striker AR, which is another returning weapon, except this time from Chapter 5 Season 1. This is better than the combat for reasons just mentioned, but it's still not the best AR of the season in my opinion. I don't think I've carried one of these to endgame this season, but if you prefer this one, I understand. If you have the correct attachments like the red dot scope, the vertical foregrip, and the speed mag, this is a great AR, but still not the best. At number 8, we have the Dual Micro SMGs. These are a great addition to the season in my opinion, but I just rarely use them. They have an extremely fast fire rate and can reload fast as well, making them very useful off spawn. These are better, I think, for build players as a close range spray weapon and for something to take down an enemy player's walls. I will just use them off spawn and normally drop them for other weapons I have yet to mention, but we are going to be getting Gwenpool's mythic version sometime in the future, so we'll see if it will raise on my list later down the line. For number 7, I am putting the Captain America Shield, which is a returning item from the previous Marvel season back in Chapter 2. This weapon has had significant nerfs after the season came out, but it is still really good, especially in zero build, which is why I put it at number 7. I don't take this too often, just because I prefer other weapons over it, but when I do use it, I have even taken out full squads with it because it bounces off enemy players and does 50 damage. Its blocking is very effective up close, but at a distance it actually does not block a lot. 
Overall, it's a great weapon and mythic for the Marvel season, which is why I am placing it high on my list at number 7. The next weapon I was pretty iffy on in the beginning of the season, but as I have kept using it, I have grown to love it more, which is why the Sovereign Shotgun is number 6 on my list. This is a brand new shotgun for the season and it has some cool characteristics. If you are not ADSing with this shotgun, it has a faster fire rate similar to the Frenzy Auto, but does less damage. If you do ADS, it has a slower fire rate, but does a lot more damage, which makes it one of the best shotguns of the season. I find it very effective when combined with the hover jets, as you can move very quickly around your enemies, and is a great first weapon if you find it off spawn. I don't like to have a scope on my shotgun because I find it harder to aim, but if you do, then you'll very much like the Mysterio Mythic version of this shotgun as it has increased damage and a red dot scope. Alrighty guys, before I begin my top 5 weapons of the season, just as a reminder to make sure to like this video because if we get more than 50 likes, I will be doing a V-Bucks giveaway. For number 5, I am putting the War Machine Arsenal. I think this is a great mythic this season, especially when combined with the hover jets, as you can rain terror on your enemies from above. I have even done a Marvel Weapons Only Challenge, which I will link above, but in it I mainly use this weapon the whole game and end up destroying other teams with it. I think the rockets really can make other players freak out, and combined with spraying the turret, enemy players might not know what to do, which makes for easy eliminations. I don't use it every game, but when I do, I always have a lot of fun with it, which puts it at number five. At number four, I am putting the Ranger Pistol. This is a great third weapon to have in your inventory, as it is very accurate and has an insane fire rate. You could even just replace this weapon with your AR if you really wanted to because it's that good. If you find one of these off spawn, you are all set and ready to annihilate other players. I mainly use this weapon at mid range once all my AR bullets have finished so I have a continual spray and in my opinion it doesn't really need a scope but if you are using one it's very good as well. This weapon is good in any player's hands and can be used in lots of different situations to be the player that comes out on top which is why I'm putting it at number four. Number three is another one of the new Marvel weapons introduced this season, which is the War Machine Auto Turret. This is one of those weapons that is a lot better in zero builds for the obvious reason that your enemies can't create cover when the auto turret is locking onto them, which is why I try to use it in every game. It does not do a lot of damage, but it does do enough to make your enemy player freak out because they are getting hit, which can give you an advantage in a fight. It also locks onto enemies in a moving vehicle and if you are chasing someone it will continually do damage to them if you are close enough. I feel this weapon is very fair because of the little damage it does to players and it's fun to use in the game which is why it's in my number 3 spot. Coming in at number 2 we have the Gatekeeper Shotgun. What more can I say about this weapon that hasn't already been set? The last two seasons has been in the loot pool. It's the best shotgun in the game and is so much better when you can attach a drum mag to it especially due to its high damage and fire rate. I pick this weapon up just about every game, which is why it's at my number two spot. My number one pick is not going to be a surprise to anyone because it's the Striker Burst AR. This is a returning weapon from the Fortnite Vault and is the best weapon of the season in my opinion. This weapon is at its best when it has the red dot scope, which is very easy to get even off of floor loop. This is the weapon I look for the most this season and it's probably the weapon I've eliminated most enemy players with. It is even better if you can pick up the mythic version from Emma Frost as it has increased damage. It is so fun to use and I think every player needs to use it in this AR meta that we have for the season. Well, there you guys have it. My ranking of every weapon this season from worst to best. I hope you enjoyed and don't forget to comment something down below and share your rankings with me. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and make sure to check out my other season 4 content right here and I'll catch you guys in the next one.